So basically the theme of this week is all about messaging platforms. And we're going to talk about iMessage today. So it's basically Apple texting by Wi-Fi. So what is iMessage? iMessage is a messaging app that comes built into devices manufactured by Apple, such as iPhones, iPads, and Mac computers. You can use it to send messages, pictures, and videos over Wi-Fi or cellular data networks. Availability. iMessage is free to use and comes pre-installed on Apple devices. You can send both regular text messages and iMessages from the Messages app. Though it doesn't cost money, to use it on your device, it may indirectly cost you money through data usage charges for not connected to Wi-Fi because the app uses your device's internet connection to send messages. iMessage and SMS MMS. There are two ways to send messages on the Messages app. Through iMessage, messages are sent over Wi-Fi or cellular network. The messages sent through iMessage appear blue. Through SMS or MMS, messages are sent using your phone's text messaging plan. You are able to message to non-Apple phones, and these messages appear green. So pros, it's free to use. You don't need to install the app since it's already on your Apple device. There's many features like sending pictures and videos. There's GIF searches and there's mini games you can play with your friends. Cons is that it's only available on Apple devices. And since iMessage uses internet connection, it can result in higher data usage if you aren't using Wi-Fi connection to access this app. So how does it work? We'll be covering how to set up iMessage, how to send a message, how to send new and existing pictures, how to send new and existing videos, how to send audio messages, how to create group messages, and Path messages. Setting up iMessage. So you open up settings on your device. Scroll down and tap messages. At the top of the next screen, move the toggle, which is a switch, over to the right to activate iMessage, which is here. And then choose the addresses, which is phone number or email. You like to use to send and receive messages by tapping send and receive. Note. No setup is required on Mac laptops. Just click on the Messages app and sign into your Apple account. So sending iMessages on iPhone. First of all, you open Messages, and then you tap this icon here to start a new conversation or tap an existing conversation with another Apple user. And then tap the text field, which is right here, and then type your message. And then tap this specific enter sign to send a message. If your device is not connected to a Wi-Fi network, the message will be sent using your cellular data if it is on. Sending SMS or MMS messages. Sending messages through SMS, MMS is essentially the same, but when other Wi-Fi networks or cellular data are not available, your messages will automatically be sent through SMS and MMS if it is included in your phone plan. When messaging non-Apple products recipients, messages will automatically be sent by SMS or MMS. Sometimes, it is not possible to send pictures, videos, or GIFs through SMS and MMS. Sending iMessages on Mac. So you tap this icon, to start a new conversation or type an existing conversation. So this icon here or this existing conversation right here. Type your message in the field near the bottom of the screen and then press the enter or return key on your keyboard to send the message. So here you can type your message and you can press enter to send the message. By pressing details, other options will show up. They include sharing your screen, audio call, or video call. So right here, details. Um, share screen, video call, audio call. Sending iMessages on Mac. Continue. So by pressing the video camera icon, it will start a FaceTime call. So right here. By pressing the info button, right here, little eye is a short circle. Other options will show up. They include 
start an audio or video call, see the contact info, and share your location. So, like, for someone to send my current location, share my location, or contact info right here. Sending pictures and, and video. To take a photo in a message conversation, press the camera icon, which is located right here on the left of the um, message. To take a picture, tap this right circle icon. And to take a video, tap the video option and tap video option, tap, tap the red circle. And then you have to tap the up arrow to send or done to add a message before sending your photo or video. Sending an existing photo or video. In a message conversation, tap this photo icon, which is right here. And then select a photo or tap all photos to pick a photo from your photos app. And then tap this icon to send, which is basically like enter sign. Sending audio messages. Audio messages, aka voice messages, are like text messages, but instead of written text, you send a recording of your voice. In a message conversation, touch and hold this icon, which is here on the, on the right, to record an audio message. And to preview your message, tap the play icon. To cancel the message, tap the X icon. And to send, tap the please like enter icon with an arrow pointing on top. Adding a tap back message. A tap back message allows you to express how you to react to a message. On an iPhone, double tap the message. On a Mac, double click or click and hold the message. Tap a tap back you would like to react with. Options include heart, thumbs up, thumbs down, and haha. Group messages. A group message is an iMessage conversation with three or more recipients. Open message and tap this icon, which is right here, to start a new message. Enter the recipient's name or tap add, which is right here, to add people from your contacts. Enter your message and tap enter icon to send, which is right here. How to send GIFs. Open a conversation and tap the text field, then tap the images icon. So images icon right here. And then tap the GIF that you want to send. You can type in the specific bar to look for specific GIFs. So once I open this image icon, I can search for GIFs or find existing GIFs. And then tap this with enter icon to send the GIF. So in this case, I'll tap this GIF, and this GIF show up here, and I'll press enter and it will send. How to delete conversations or messages. Tap and hold a message in a conversation. Select messages that you would like to delete or tap delete all to delete all messages. You can delete entire conversation by tapping delete conversation. So thanks for listening. Um, this concludes our presentation about iMessage. So if you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to this website or call this number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop-ins from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays. Thanks.